Hello, church. This topic this week is failure. And perhaps the most powerful story in all the Gospels is that moment when Peter sees Jesus out on the water. He and the rest of the disciples are terrified. And they think he's a ghost. They're in the middle of a storm. They're worried the boat's going to capsize. And then there's, there's somebody out in the water. Holy cow. Did you see that? Is, is that? There's somebody out there. And they're terrified. And they hear this voice, don't be afraid, it's me, it's Jesus, I am. The name of God, not just, hey guys, it's me, it's I am, just the same voice that Moses hears at the burning bush. Don't be afraid. And Peter then says, if it's you, command me. Because if you tell me, I can do it. Command me to come out in the boat and I'll come to you. So Jesus does, come. And I always, you know, I think about Peter and, and so many times people say, well, he takes his eyes off of Jesus because he sees the storm, he sees the wind kicking up over the water. And it's, you know, a very powerful idea that we take our, whenever we take our eyes off Jesus, we sink. And Peter, like the rock he is, sinks like a lead weight. He cries out to Jesus, he snags him from the water, and he hauls him into the boat and says, you know, why'd you have such little faith? But what I want to say to all of us is, there's 11 other guys in the boat. How come only Peter says, hey, if it's you, call out to me, and I'll walk on water like you? What keeps the other 11 guys, what keeps you and me in the boat? Afraid. Uh, we, we might see Jesus out there, going places where we wouldn't go, but how many of us have the tenacity, the, the courage to say, if it's you, God, command me out to where you would be. Get me out from the sides of this boat. Get me out from the walls of this church. Get me out of the comfort zone that I cling to, all the stuff in my own little world that I, you know, I'm so absorbed in, in my schedule. Call me out someplace that it might really cause me to take a risk a sink or swim situation where I'm not sure what's underneath the surface of the water. I'm not sure how far it is out to where you're at, but I'll go, I'll follow. Uh, you know, it's just much safer in the boat. Don't rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. You know, we really don't wanna, we really don't wanna leave the security of the solid, right? And while part of faith is knowing and trusting that security, God is our rock, another part of the faith is going out where Christ would be, to where it's not so safe, and certainly not secure, and certainly unknown. And there's a lot of forces going against us, a lot of wind against us, a lot of waves, and just not certain how we will be out on the waters. But I know one thing, if we never get out of the boat, if we're never afraid to fail or to sink, we'll never walk on water. So how about you? Where is God calling you in your life today that you've been too afraid to say, if it's you, command me. I know you've got me. It's not me walking out alone or knowing where the rocks are. How about it? Where have we played it safe? Where God asks us to let go. May God with us be with us in the wrestling. And may you experience some form of walking on water.